Hi everyone, this is Nicole and welcome back to The Planner Pair. Today I have my weekly plan with me video featuring January 4th through the 10th. I'm a little late getting it up this week. I was a little late creating it um, and so kind of just took a about an hour and put this together and I really love how it turned out. I think one of the things that helped me with limited time was to create this with books I already had out that I had not put away yet from my vision board spread, which I will link to at the end of this video if you want to check that out. So it really kind of helped and inspired this spread, which I think you will definitely notice. So I think the main sticker books I used are Biz Babe, Wild Styled, and then the brand new large Mickey and Minnie stamp set. So those are kind of what I centered everything around. I will pull in some watercolor goals, I think, and a little farmhouse and I think even a happy quote. Yes, some, some sticker phrases from the Happy Quotes book to round out the design. But the majority of my stamp stamps, stickers, sorry, come from the three books I mentioned first, Biz Babe, Wild Styled, and then the Mickey and Mickey, the large Mickey and Minnie. So really the only thing from the Mickey and Minnie book is my large Minnie. And it's pretty similar to last week's spread where I have a large image down here in the corner. This is the only Disney sticker I am using this week. And I liked how she kind of looks like she's throwing glitter up in the air or whatever, plus the rose gold of uh, foiling on her bow and skirt and shoes, which works really nice with the rose gold foiling of Wild Styled and Biz Babe. I am using the bullet point stickers, which are always my favorite. I just love them all. Uh, from the Biz Babe book, there aren't, a. I think there's four that have the rose gold foiling around the little bullet point. And I ended up using, I believe, six on my spread. So I will mix in a couple of others from that book that don't have the foiling. And then I also noticed I have a black smudge on my page. I have no idea how that got there. I'm going to assume that I was doing my card making work and I had black ink on my hands or something and then I touched my planner. I don't know, um, but I did get a smudge and so I'm gonna need to wipe that out as well over there along the side in the nice sidebar there. And I played around with stickers and I really do end up not using some of these first ones, but I think it's helpful to show the process, especially maybe if you're starting out um, and just kind of curious how the whole design process works. This was one of the harder layouts for me to create or at least come up with my orig the original idea for my spread. I don't know what the deal was. Maybe it was because I got a late start this week. Um, I didn't get it done over the weekend like I wanted to. I don't know, but I really struggled. So a couple of my favorite tips for that in any type of creative endeavor is to limit the supplies, which is what I did. I did not go grab any additional books until the very end. I had almost everything put together and I kind of knew what I wanted to do over on the right side of the spread. I'm gonna use that big Be Brilliant phrase from Wild Styled. And I wanted something smaller, some sort of smaller phrase up at the top. And I just could not uh, find anything in the books that I had out that worked. And that's when I went and pulled a, another sticker book to finish the spread. But other than that, I really just limited my supplies. The other thing, revisit a layout you've done in the past. That also goes for scrapbooking, card making, any of those things. If you find yourself stuck, if you find your mojo has taken a little hiatus or a vacation, revisit something else that worked. So I liked last week's spread a lot. It's, it's not the same spread this week, but it's pretty similar. And as far as placement of a big image and then kind of filling it in with functional stickers like bullet points, uh, functional boxes, and those kind of things, 
and then I added some fun quotes and a few other little things and called it good. So I decided what I really liked last week as well was using a little kind of word sticker along the edge and then placing my bullet point sticker over the top. I like how this looks a lot. And so I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, all stickers are from Biz Babe. This is one of the newer sticker books just released here at the end of 2020 and the colors are beautiful. This was also a way I didn't, last week's spread was pretty monochromatic black and gold. I love that for New Year's, but I was looking to add in some color for this week's spread. And so I went ahead and just pulled in that color, the same colors I used for my vision board and really loved it. All kind of beautiful, can't talk, beautiful uh, pinks and roses, navies, light, kind of a beautiful wintry blue and a mustard color. And I used all of them on my spread and I think they work really beautifully with rose gold. I also try to only use rose gold and not pull in uh, maybe gold foiling or silver foiling. My preference usually kind of goes more towards gold foiling or rose gold foiling rather than silver. Um, certain instances, silver works really well. It's just probably a personal preference. Um, so I just really tried to limit the foil so I wasn't mixing and matching a bunch of different ones. I'm using the planning guides a little bit. I use them a little more here um, as far as placement for stickers, seeing where I might need to white out a line there's that line going through Minnie's face. We don't want that for the finished spread. Um, just kind of planning out. I knew, like I said, I have started trying to do my functional part first, making sure I have plenty of room to add all the things I need for a spread. Um, so I definitely make room for that first and then I fill in with the rest of the pretty things because I really love the pretty stickers, the, the quotes, uh, the Disney stickers or other types of beautiful, pretty type of stickers because I think they really encourage me to use my spread. I love looking at it. I love having something beautiful to open up to in my planner, but it is a planner and I need it to be functional and I use my planner for both work and home. I have not um, delved into using more than one planner yet. I wanted to see how well one works for me um, before I, I move on to more, maybe one for work and one for home or whatever that might be. I don't know what that would look like. Um, I definitely see why so many have multiple planners because it is so much fun. But for right now, we're just going to see if I can maintain this one before I move on to another. I'm loving how it's turning out. I'm pretty well settled that I like the quote over there that says, set a goal that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. I love that. I think it's a really great quote for any time, but obviously, especially for um, January spreads. Um, I think I want to add some boxes here for top three for Wednesday. Kind of have a lot going on this week. Last week was a little lighter on the workload and really the home on the home front as well. Just took down Christmas decorations and tried to kind of get life back to normal and get reset for the first week back to school and um, I knew I had a ton of work things going on this week. There's a lot of really awesome uh, type of work related things that I have coming as far as on my other channel, Nicole Spore. Uh, so if you are a card maker or you're just interested in card making, I know a lot of you are probably here because you have seen my card making before. Um, there's some really cool things coming later this month that I'm excited about. Anywho, something else that worked really good for my vision board was the watercolor swatches. I love them. Um, 
I really kind of hope that there are, I'm, I'm on the hunt for more watercolor swatch books. So if you guys know of some, let me know watercolor stickers because I love them. I love the addition, uh, the kind of messy, quote unquote messy look they add to a planner, even though they really aren't. Um, I also love half circles. So I, this little half circle works great. We're gonna make more half circles out of these like power hour stickers from Biz Babe. And then I'm adding some pretty stickers with some quote stickers as far as box stickers goes just to fill in and kind of round out the design. I'm noticing even though my left side of the spread is more complete at this point, it's a little light on color, meaning I think it needs a box over there. Mini is taking up a lot of room where I would normally add one. So we will be adding a nice little pop of color with a striped rectangle box there. Um, we wanna fill in with the rest of what's going on. Um, that little ha light kind of, I call it the sky or winter blue half circle is an appointment type of box. I do have a nail appointment on Saturday with my daughter. Um, so that was a great place to use that. My watercolor stickers, I did try to have them extend from one page to another. Another thing that I'm pulling from my vision board spread that I found worked and that I liked really well. So this, all of these little things help me when I'm struggling with creativity. If I just revisit something else that worked. Okay, so I like the watercolor swatch, but I definitely think we need more to kind of balance the design. But that smudge over there, I tried to erase it first, that did not work. So we're just gonna white out the worst part of it because it really is ruining the whole look of my spread. Um, so I just use some white out there and then I'm gonna place my watercolor sticker over that and trim off the excess. We're just using a little piece and then we're going to take the rest of it and place it over on the right side of the spread. I do not like waste. I wanna make sure I'm using every little bit and piece of these watercolor stickers. I love, love, love them. So that looks nice. It is balanced but I do think we're gonna need a little bit more, so I will get there in a minute. This is trimming down those Power Hour stickers. We're gonna lay one of these over the plaid sticker here. And that's just kind of a nice focal point type of sticker. If you've got something you really need to get done a certain day, um, I like that because that helps me focus in. I have this on this day. Um, adding in my Monday one as well. Just, it balances it out. I did this actually kind of after Monday was over, which I hate doing, but I wanna be real with you guys. Um, so I just put in what I did have my power hour or 30 minutes to do for that day, which was getting a blog post up on my other channel. Um, so it was kind of my big focus of Monday. And then simply adding in that color sticker, for me, that balances out the design so much better. I absolutely love that little stripe as all the colors of the spread. We are gonna be using this top three sticker. I played around with this so much and ultimately kind of went back to my original design where I have it kind of up in the upper, that top third box. Um, and then we're gonna have little boxes coming down so I can have my top three for Wednesday because as I mentioned, I have quite a lot to do that day. And I'm using my planning guide so I can really play around with these and not have to worry about tearing my stickers too much. It's looking good. We're getting close to kind of finishing up, I would say. There's just those finishing details. So we've got another box sticker, maybe some more sparkles. I love the little kind of glitter or stardust that Minnie's throwing up in the air. Farmhouse book has some rose gold ones. In fact, I have two of those farmhouse books mostly for that page because I think you need all the sparkles. Um, and I used all of them already. So I bought another one and we're already dived into it. 
So we're gonna use some of those throughout. We're gonna have a few more watercolor splotches. Um, trying to think what else we need to add to finish it off. Oh, and then I want something above Be Brilliant, just some little quotes. And then I feel like up in the sidebar underneath January, I whited out the notes section, but we need something else there. I am for sure ready to commit to my top three. So we're just gonna lay these boxes down on the actual page. And don't, I had trouble getting them straight. I don't know why. So we'll just kind of fiddle with those a little bit. I like how they overlap the larger box and then extend up into the top third of that whole Wednesday day. I like filling in all of the area. Um, and then we're gonna overlap the top three box over this one. I really like how this turned out. I wanted to use that so much, and so I'm glad that that all worked out and just kind of design-wise, I love how it all ended up. Watercolor, We let's use a brighter pink. We've got the nice light pink that we're using on our spread. We've got the nice dusty blue. So we're gonna use a little darker pink and I'm just gonna trim this one in half again. It gives you kind of double the watercolor or any kind of sticker for that matter if, if it works like these do. So I get more um, bang for my buck, I guess because I have a little bit up there and then I'm gonna put a little down at the bottom that also extends across the two pages. Now this one will kind of slightly cover up the Happy Planner uh, little punch there, the where it goes into the ring system of the Happy Planner. So I'm gonna need to use the punch to re-punch those holes so it goes into my planner nicely but I like that little pop of color down along the bottom. That is looking good. <clears throat> the upper right corner of my two page spread though is looking a little blah. Um, I'm gonna pull some phrase stickers. And again, this is from the Happy Quotes sticker book to use. And they might be kind of hard to read on camera. I'm going, the yellow, the light yellow is Think Happy Thoughts. The darker blue is Make Yourself Proud. The light pink is Plan a Happy Life. And then the darker pink is You Are Capable of Amazing Things. And I went through this page of stickers and I purposely picked stickers that A, worked with my Be Brilliant quote, and B, the color worked with the layout. So I was really conscious of trying to pick things that would coordinate. Now the stickers are a little bit long. I don't like all of that blank space at the end. So I'm gonna take my scissors and trim those down before I add those to my actual planner page. And then as I mentioned, the farmhouse sticker book has a lot of these little sparklies that we need to add to our design. I think it just kind of balances it out nice. So we've got some in that upper right corner that I thought was a little light. And then we're going to add a few more down there by that little blue um, watercolor down in the sidebar. And then we are gonna be ready to add mini to our spread. And then I need something up there above the quote in the sidebar. I think I'm gonna add another kind of quote-ish type sticker from Biz Babe to finish that off. And I really liked that light pink sticker, but we're ready to add mini, but we wanna go a little slow, cause as I mentioned, we wanna white things out. I am going to just kind of gently place her down and then start whiting out any areas that I don't want to be visible. And there's some down here along the side. Just get the majority of it it's gonna look a lot nicer. And then I like how she's just kind of sprinkling that stardust, um, wish, making wishes for a magical week. I always, in my mind, I think it's a, I tell a story when I'm creating. Um, I talk about this on my card making channel as well, and I find myself doing that with planning because I always did this with scrapbooking too, it is, which is telling a story. And for me, my planner very much is telling my story because it's telling you know what's going on in my week and my life and all of that kind of thing. 
Um, so it's really fun to do that with or create that with stickers. And then any of that excess little sparkle that I trimmed off from the sidebar, I added up there along the top because as I mentioned, I do not like to waste any little part or piece. So here are those strip stickers. I'm just trimming off the ends because just a little too long, I think it kind of takes away from that. Just using my scissors to snip those down and then layering those up at the top. When I used to scrapbook, these kind of stickers were always my favorite thing to just kind of add in to finish off a page. So I find myself drawn to them in planning. I think it's funny to just kind of look back at uh, those design elements that stick with you forever, the things that you still love. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but for I just find it very, very interesting, the things that still work for me that I have done for years and years. Oh, I love how that turned out. It's looking good. I think we are almost finished. Um, the sticker I wanna put in the sidebar needs to be layered underneath and my stickers are stuck down pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna take a little undo and lift those up so that I don't tear anything because I know that I'm gonna be super upset if I tear them. Just gonna add a tiny little drop and lift those up and away. And then I just kind of, I want to move that up and air dry it. I'm just waving it around in the air, trying to get it to, it does dry quickly, but um, we're just clean that up. And then I'm going to slide that sticker in place. And it just adds a nice, very light color, a great quote that really goes with the rest of my week. I can put my other stickers back down. And I absolutely love my spread. I think this is going to be perfect for the week. We just need to grab our planner and we're gonna put it back into our planner. We also need to punch those holes. So remember, there are a couple little spots. Oh, and I forgot, I did add a few more sparkles here. I did not use the rest of this one. I'm just gonna put it back in my sticker book so I can use it for another layout or another spread at another time. But I felt like it needed just a little more sparkly up there, so I did add that. And then the hole punch from the Happy Planner is just an essential. If you wanna do any sort of uh, spread that has stickers going across, it is fantastic for re-punching those holes. I really like the flow of having some stickers go from one side to the other. Just gonna punch that real quick and we can put both of those back in the planner and call it good. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my weekly spread. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new planning video from Peyton and myself. Here is another video featuring a lot of the same stickers you've seen here. It's my vision board for 2021. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.